so hello everyone welcome back to my new video in my previous videos i have showed how we can use python to do algo trading uh, or to build some trading bots that can automate trading by analyzing the live stock data however i have realized that not every trader will have python installed in their laptops to run the python script and most of the traders are not comfortable in using this technical tools like python in today's video i am going to show how we can do algo trading with the help of excel vba macros just yes, all we can whatever we did with the python we can do same thing with the help of excel vba macro so let's get started so let me show you my excel which i where i built my excel macro which can do everything that a python can do like when i talk about algorithm trading it's all about you know fetching uh, like taking the data from stock market and doing some technical analysis in the back end so i have built my own excel algo trading file which can do all the things that a python can do for example uh, it can fetch live stock data from my zerada like open high low close volume data everything it can fetch and it can also do calculate technical indicators that like rsi mscd and bollinger bands and moving average everything and based upon those indicators uh, we can you know make some technical signals like a buy or sell signal and finally from the excel only we can place a buy order or a sell order to my zerada broker account via api so let me show you what i was talking all this so this is uh, my excel where you know i already built everything uh, so whatever stock let's say if i have to if i want to buy anything like let's say hdfc bank stock if i want to buy if i want to fetch live data of the hdfc bank and uh, i want for 4th november and like then i want to have 3 minutes candle or 2 minutes candle whatever candle that you prefer uh, when we fetch it will directly fetch the data and it will also Uh, refresh the chart so if you see the live chart of hdfc bank let me add my hdfc bank here so so the same thing you can see it here okay this is 5 minutes let me change it to 3 minutes okay so same thing we can get it into my excel so whatever if you want 5 minutes candle data you just need to change the interval to 5 minutes and just click on live data it will fetch and it will change accordingly okay so once we get the data uh, i'll show you how what actually it is doing when we click on live stock data it will pull all the data like ohlvc data and it will store the data within the excel and from here what i did i calculated all the technical indicators manually like rsi and uh, simple moving average like five candles and 10 candles and exponential moving average uh, five and 12 and i also calculated macd based upon this live data then volume indicators and bollinger bands uh, where i used standard deviation of two and all uh, sim- upper band and lower band and even in excel we have a linear regression simple linear regression although it's may not be most efficient way but still we can take into consideration just to uh, you know figure out whether to buy or not so based upon all these calculations uh, i made some if logics i know let's say for rsi if my rsi is below 30 then it is a buy signal we can say and if rsi is above 70 then it is a sell signal so i made all the if sign- if conditions to determine if if the stock is worth of buying at this price or not okay and one more thing i want to f- tell you that the most famous i you know analysis that every trader uses price action analysis uh, so i also built a price action within uh, the excel so based upon live open volume data uh, which can tell you know if the stock is at resistance level or if a stock is at support level based upon you know last 10 can 10 high lows based upon them we can figure out if the stock is sideways or down way or upward and finally what i did so based upon all these technical indicator calculations we can figure out uh you know which indicator is saying what like price action saying to hold rsi signal is saying to hold and macd you know signal is indicator indicating to hold but bollinger band is suggesting to sell likewise what i do uh, i brought same technical uh, you know data into this dashboard also uh, let me show some other stock which is giving buy signal like we talk about tata steel see if you see the tata steel right now rsi indicator is saying buy Uh, but price action is saying to hold and macd indicator is selling uh, suggesting to buy but bollinger band is suggesting to sell so out of four two we got buy one as neutral and but bollinger band is saying sell okay so i'll try to analyze within the excel and if i feel uh, you know it's worth of buying uh, like if i think uh, the price may move upward and i want to make a buy order so i already made buy here also let's say if i want to buy tata steel at market price and let me show you okay so we can directly buy from the excel only when i click this buy it will place an order you know, buy quantity 1 at market price so that status was like buy order successful okay and if i go to my positions i got a buy order 
which is live and uh, if i want to sell this uh, i can simply click on sell here if it says sell complete and status is success so all this we can do uh, directly from excel okay apart from this uh, what this excel macro will do it will keep a track of what we bought and what we sold like whatever orders that we have placed uh, it automatically you know get stored within this sheet if you see my zerodha account uh, if you go to my order status so these are the orders that i executed so far from morning and the same data you can also you know get stored within the excel which you can analyze and keep a track of your buy and sell and you can figure out what's actually happening within the excel only so if you if you want to do trading from excel the most important thing that you need is api keys or access, access token uh, actually to get these tokens you need some programming language to get but there is a way where you can get an access token manually also uh, let me show you how uh, how we can do it first thing what you need to do you need to log in into your kite in within the browser and then you need to go to this link uh, you need to paste this link and you have to replace uh, your api key okay here and press enter it will take some time and you get this uh, you know response where it will say status as success and this is a request token that you need to get an access token so with the help of access token only you can able to fetch live data from your broker so first you need to copy this request token then what i did i have built a batch file uh, let me show you what it is so this is a batch file that i built you just need to replace your request token here and you just need to save it i'll quickly walk you over this file what actually it will do it will combine your api key it will combine your uh, secret key and it will combine your request token to generate a checksum then we will exchange this checksum code with your access token okay you don't need to do anything you just need to save and close and when you double click this file it will run in cmd so if you see the status is success and it will show you all your information and if you go here this is a access token right and you just need to copy this access token and this is a token that will help you to fetch live data from your broker and you have to paste your access token here that's it if i show you my vba code i will just walk you through uh, what uh, key elements of my vba i will not tell each and every details of the macro so in my vba i have created a module called fetch data where i have created a procedure called get zero the data where i given variables and all the key element for this is access token which is used to you know, authenticate yourself uh, to request a data and this is a url that i requested to get uh, to get a historical data like open high low volume data and i have i have created http you know um, object and i send my request and we get a response uh, for our request then i can i used a json converter which i downloaded from github uh, so whatever response that we got i write it down to the excel sheet like this okay and i also created a procedure to send an api to buy a stock and i also created a procedure to send an api to sell a stock okay along with that i also have order detail procedure where i will request all the orders that i booked for the day then whatever response i got for my request i will write it down uh, again to my excel sheet if you want full code you can download from my new web page or from my github which i'm going to you know attach in my description if you want to have more such videos please like and subscribe to my channel thank you everyone